Hey guys, this is Kim. Welcome to Kim's Beauty Basics. The product we're testing out today is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel, which is supposed to be waterproof. It also is supposed to last for two days. Sounds a little scary. I could really mess this up, so don't worry. We're gonna do it together. I'm excited to see how that works, and I will try to do a wear test and an update to see if it lasts the two days. Hopefully I don't have sharpie brows. If you end up liking the video, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out so much as well. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel too. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification if you want to get a notification whenever I post because it is a little sporadic. Without further ado, let's get right into this review, see if this brow gel is all that it's cut out to be. All right, so let's get into this product together. I just purchased this from the drugstore yesterday, actually, so I have no idea what this is. I just saw it and was like, two days of having brows done? That would be wonderful. As you can see, my brows, like I do have some brow hair. However, I did have that phase when your mom gives you your first pair of tweezers in about middle school times, and I just, I, I made basically a line with them. It was terrible. I, if I can find some pictures, I will try to bring them up, but if not, you didn't miss out. If you're younger though and you still have your full bushy brows, do not, do not pluck them to lines. You just, you don't want to do it. Just don't do it because they don't grow back right. They just don't grow back as well. Like this part here, I don't like, I don't know what I did here. I have a bald spot and also here and brow trends change all the time. And so you think that you want it a certain way, but fuller brows came into fashion and I had this left, so back to this product. So this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio again. It's a waterproof brow gel. It's supposed to be for filling and coloring the brows. It also comes with a little spoolie on the side. That's nice. It's supposed to be waterproof, obviously, and it also is supposed to last up to two days. It says 98% of people saw fuller brows, 93% said the gel does not transfer. Ooh, we'll see about that. And then 88% would recommend to a friend. I got the shade medium brown which is 257 if that helps anyone. It says for best results, I'm supposed to use short smooth strokes starting mid-brow and fill from the start of the brow. Fill tail optional. What does fill tail optional mean? And then it says blend and groom with a spoolie. So that's the brow gel there. And then it comes with a basic spoolie, basically a short handled one. The reason I got medium brown is because the next one said like deep dark or like dark brown or like, and it came in like a like black lid and it just scared me. I was like, I do not want Sharpie brows. Dude, like, and for two days having sharpie brows like that would really suck medium brown it is even though i have like black hair so this is the end of the brow gel it's kind of like really fluffy like really fluffy it doesn't look like a mascara wand it looks like a concealer wand that's a little bit fluffy this is my benefit spoolie and brush combo for the brows so i probably will use that to put it on because i just don't want brown lines for my brows. I would like them to look kind of like hairs, but let's test this on the back of my hand, which is covered in makeup. It comes on super thick. You can see that there. That's a lot of product. So I'm zooming in nice and close. I'm just gonna run through my brows with just the spoolie brush on the Benefit wand here. As you can see, like I do have brow hairs, which probably need to be trimmed, honestly, but it just like has very like sparse areas that want to ruin my life. So I have the applicator here and I'm gonna take my ankle brush and just like dip directly into it and just touch the back of my hand before I go right in because I just don't wanna to do too much product. I'm gonna do the ends of my brows first cause that's how I normally do my brows because there's like more hair and then the line I kind of have to follow the hair. So it's just easier for me to start it there. I'm doing this brow first, which is like my harder brow. But maybe I'll just do both ends and we'll go to the harder areas after this. So first impression, it's going on okay. The color is good. Like if I got any darker than this, I don't think I'd be very happy with myself. If you have lighter hair and skin than me and you don't want like a super, super bold brow, then I would probably go with the next shade up, which I believe was called soft brown. And like if you like like black brows, then go for the darker color. So now I'm just running this angled brush underneath my brows and starting to do little strokes to fill in the under hairs. I am taking my sweet time because this is supposed to last for two days and I want my brows to look good for two days. Getting ready for this makeup tutorial, I knew that I wanted to do the rest of my makeup and then leave my brows. And what did I do? I did my whole face and I did my brows and I was like, why are you so crazy? 
so I had to like take off my brows with makeup remover and then try to reapply my foundation around it and bronzer. And then another mistake I made was I couldn't find my favorite, favorite lash glue, which I planned to do a video on and not today, but planned on it very soon because it's literally like my favorite product. Anyway, couldn't find it. So I was like, oh, I'll just use my cheap glue that I have. No, they, it was so bad. My lashes looked crazy and then I hated how they looked and felt and so I took them off and so that's why my lashes look super clumpy and then I also tried to apply the Bad Gal mascara on top which was another bad idea. Okay, so I'm filling in the rest of my brow. It's good, it's definitely dark, like it's maybe even darker than the stuff that I use normally which is usually the Benefit like cub brow and I would say it's darker than that and I use the shade three which is definitely the wrong shade for me but my mother purchased it for me and like I'm about to not use it and I really like the products but it is too light for me it's a little bit too like a variety brown but I ain't got money to just be buying my own and I have a perfectly good set so yeah these are a little bit darker but I think for me like this color is pretty good like it looks like the color of my hair which is good and it's nice because it's not too warm more of a taupey brown and I try to go like up toward the front and then here I kind of angle down and then here I angle down down but you know kind of just do whatever it's your brows everyone knows their brows best brows are tough and I have been going in with more product but like I haven't dipped this back in I probably am drying it out but I don't care so this is the brows applied I do like them I think they look pretty good I like the color, I think it's good for me, but just be aware that they are darker than the container looks. This is a lot lighter and the brows look a lot darker to me, so like, do not trust the packaging when it shows you the color. But I do really like how they look. I think the product was pretty easy to work with. Do not go in with this and just apply, like I just don't think that's a good idea. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this dry, I'm gonna keep wearing it through the day. At the end of the day, I'm gonna take a little wet cloth, I'm gonna wipe it with some water and see if they come off. And we'll, we'll see. We'll see. See you guys a little bit later. Well, in like two seconds. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so I'm back at the end of the night. So I just set up on my couch, which I've never done before. I just wanted to show you how the brows held up, which totally normal. I think there's a little bit of highlighter, honestly, um, on them because I just did my March favorites video and I applied my Diamond Glow highlighter from Artist Couture, which you can see in that video. And I think a little bit got on the brow. But anyway, I'm just gonna use a, a white little like cotton pad here and just try to wipe the brows and see how transfer resistant they are so that came off there I don't know if you can see it doesn't look like it's the brow product well it looks like a little bit of the brow product and it looks like my eyeshadow so I'm gonna try going back and forth now yeah it looks like it's getting off some of the brow product there but they still look pretty good so I'm gonna go in and dip it into a little bit of water just to do a water resistance test so I'm just gonna take this wet cotton pad now and just wipe off the brows all right so that looks like it got off the product there i'm just going to take a look and see how my brow well they look really wet obviously and i've taken off like my foundation around but it doesn't they've definitely left a little bit of the stain but it looks like a lot of it has come off it really just looks like my brows but wet i don't think i'm going to continue this two-day test because it doesn't look like it stayed there but it looks like it gave a little bit of a wash of color which i'm not mad at i guess i now have to do this outro with my brows like this so the maybelline brow studio do I love it? I think it's a pretty good product. I do like the color, so I think I will continue using it. I definitely will not use that spoolie applicator. I don't think that's the best idea, but I do like the color of it. I do like how it applied. I think it looks pretty good when it was on there. These are a mess now. I look a mess. Ignored them. So yeah, I like it for a drugstore product, definitely. I mean, it was fairly transfer resistant. It just wasn't waterproof, like they said. The good thing is, I think, is it's not gonna last for two days. So if you mess up, like, don't worry. Like, you're fine. You can still take it off. So I think that's kind of a good thing. I don't think anyone really wants to commit to the same brows for two days. Well, I don't. I mean, some people do, I guess.
I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned a little something about this new uh, drugstore brow product. So if you end up liking this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you end up liking this channel, then hit that subscribe button. And I promise that my brows are normally better than this. And that's all from me, guys. Hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. And I hope I see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. Back at the end of the night here, I actually set up on my couch, which I've never done before, but I thought, oh, dear. Jeez.